Hi friends, Allison here with AJ's Inspired Life and today I'm just going to clean up my desk and I wanted to take you along. Um, some of you have asked like how I organize some stuff and I know we all do it differently and um, I don't necessarily have a great system. So if you have any suggestions, I do know that I have a little bit of an issue which I know I've talked about before. One, I save everything because I, I can find a use for anything in my journal. Two, I do have like in my head kind of like this is for my planner or this is for my journal or this is for my junk journal versus my Fobonichi journal, like that sort of thing. And so I have different boxes of stuff and I know I could be better about combining it. So that's one of the projects I've been kind of working on this year. So anyway, um, you guys are all familiar with this. This is kind of my workstation, if you will. Um, right here, I just have two of those little trash cans. I made this one I'm using for um, trash and this one I'm using to hold, um, what, I don't know, ephemera, little things like this because I was working on my pages. And then this one I have my girls in, which um, I put in there. But you can see like in here, I tend to see, and I'm watching a video, <laughs> um, you know, I hold all these little bits, okay? And then I have more washi, there's washi there. Look at my little faces from Sweet Elizabeth. That's my boy and my girl. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I just need to be better. I have these drawers that I keep my active washi in. And then I have there. That is washi. This is washi. And then over there, I showed you when I organized my room, I have other bins of washi. So that's not what I'm working on now. But my goal is to get like this workable space. <laughs> workable, right? Good idea, Allison. Yeah. Um, this is what tends to happen. So I have a pile of stuff here that I've kind of like pushed off to my side that I love to go through, right? As I'm doing my journal. And then to my left, I also have a pile of stuff that I have piled up. So see, like I'll print a bunch of stuff off and then I just put it here as I go through it instead of putting it back away where it goes which is in this file right here. This one says stickers, but behind it or in front of it is printables, okay? So this is my work cart off to my left, my other left, my right, um, which is like my journal, sort of. I don't know, it's a mess. So I, today, this video, I'm gonna try and sort through this pile and this pile and get this kind of cleared up into a workable space, okay? So I'm gonna put you up on the mount and just, um, I might talk to you through this and I might put you on fast forward. We'll see how it goes. Let me see if I can get you on here without dropping you. And let's see if I can get you in frame. I have jammies on because I'm down in my basement. They're like not my jammies I sleep in, just my jammies that, you know, I don't know what to call it, like house jammies, I guess. Because <laughs> it's always cold down here. Not my basement, but where my craft room is, it's cold. All right, so there we go. Let's see if I can get through some of this at least. Um, here's nail polish, so that doesn't need to go on here, so that will go over here. Okay, so let me just um, let me just bring it out here and see what we have. And there's some loose pens on my desk. They all just need to go away, go away, go away. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is what is all over here, including my beautiful stone because I have not gone back to my office full time and I, I'm not too sure it's gonna live in my office. I love it down here. So sweet Christy Biddleson made me that. So I might, I might find a space for that, a permanent space for that here, but like I have, this sort of stuff that I worked on last month and now it's just sitting here. I have stuff like this that needs to be put away because we have a whole folder of these and we found this when we cleaned out the garage. Um, so yeah, it winds up on my desk. As you guys know, um, <laughs> I'm sure most of us, our family, you know, put stuff on our desk, right? And gosh, love them because I love all the bits that they give me. Um, but sometimes it's random stuff like that pin because they kind of don't know what to do with it. So yeah, so there you go. So this is one half of 
the mess, right? And I have all these bits and bobs like this. So, oh, and here is Christy's card, which goes, I know. So see, like stuff like that, it's here because it has a space that I haven't uh, put it away yet. So I'm going to clean this up. Here is a paintbrush that got used and not washed very well, but it's okay. It's going to survive. So that can go over here and dry brushes. And there's pieces like this. That was a, obviously a project life card that I just cut. And so it gives me this little bit. So this is where I get stuck is these little scraps like this. Um, cause I'm not throwing them away. I mean, look, look how gorgeous that is. So I will probably make a pile. Sometimes what I do is I make a pile of these and I go ahead and, and punch more things out of it and put it in my punch drawer. Um, because I don't have a great system for like keeping these to go to, to pull like for a little journal spot. I don't know if you guys have an idea, how do you handle little bits like that? Um, little scraps like this which are not quite wide enough for me to punch a border out of, basically, is what those are. Um, here is a little piece. Here, Nicole, here, should I send this? <laughs> One little random eye, eye thing that I cut out somewhere that's not in its correct spot. All right, and then I have a couple piles over here of stuff that I need to get rid of. All right, so I'm gonna put, see all this? All right, there we go. And I do have just a little bit of time because I have an appointment coming up, but um, I thought I would just come down here and work a little bit. So this is this very favorite coaster. You can tell it, <laughs> it gets used, sweet Elizabeth. I love it. All right, well, we'll start with that because I know exactly where that goes, right there. And I'll open my water. Ah, isn't that perfect? Okay. The crazy part is it's a beautiful sunny day outside today here in the Pacific Northwest. And so um, I need to like, when I leave for my appointment, when I, when I go upstairs and shower, I, I worked out this morning and I'm, anyway, uh, I'll put on shorts and like a tank top to go out because it's that nice and it's just beautiful. So, oh, and I'm looking out the door and I see my dog just in the backyard, <laughs> just randomly in the backyard. Okay, good to know. Oh, we don't have a fence. So yeah, he's just wandering. We'll see how far he goes. I'm just kind of watching him out the window. Um, so pieces of material, I don't know where this goes. This was from um, some masks that I made out of this and this was, and then so see what I do. I start to make another pile over here. So that's not good. This is a beautiful piece. So this is the one thing I am going to do because this is kind of how my brain works. On my left side, which is stacked on top of this, underneath here, I do have like a tray. And I am going to... Um, I, tend, I tend to keep this here for... Oh, there's my envelope for Christy cards. Um, I do tend to keep this tray for random bits, more for um, like my art journal. I don't know why some of this speaks to me more art journal than my daily um, Fobonichi, but that I'm actually gonna put into my Easter. That was from Sweet Karen. Um, I'm gonna put this into my Easter envelope and use it next year, so. Um, that's why it pays to go through here, right? But like stuff like this, isn't he cool, you guys? I love him. He came off of um, the dog food bag and I love him. I've used something similar in my art journal before. So these are going to be like art, more art journal. I have drawers of images, but this is more textured stuff. And um, yeah, so I am going to keep that here. And then this is something that like goes in there because right now I'm not going to glue this in my Fobonichi. Um, I am working in a smaller Fobonichi right now. And so I'm trying not to add too much texture is the point of that. 
these little bits I'll make a pile because I'm not too sure what to do with these stamps I have out because I was doing background but I do have a bucket right at my feet full of stamps and I am going to put this in there I want it close so I can grab it so I can remember um, I'm trying to keep some of my stamp sets closer this goes in the Fobonichi no nope the uh, project life pile oh and I took too much stuff out of here okay I have to go back through this this is definitely like art journal this is some of my favorite texture to put in my art journal it's um this is from potatoes so that will go in that pile um patterns yeah all of this so I'm just gonna sort I don't know what's your guys's threshold look at that so pretty I'm not I just don't know what to do with that this I love it's textured this goes in project or in the art journal so I think I just pulled too much <laughs> I love that Snoopy Christmas paper for whatever reason this is in the art journal pile I don't know I actually I'm going to put this in my images for my for my journal I have an image folder right here um so I'll show you this when I'm done. When we're done filing, I'll show you that. This is a beautiful piece of material. <sighs> and I have this one over here also. I'll put that just with images. Um, scrap. I have a folder I showed you in my room tour. I have a um, like a hanging thing on the side of my cart um, with scrap paper in it. So those are bigger scraps. I'm sorry if I'm taking a minute. I, my dog's now barking to get in cause he's not quite bright enough to figure out the door he came in. So, um, I'm going to give him a minute and then I'm probably going to have to go let him in. I'm going to put these with stickers. This is not stickers. This is a, um, piece of paper. So, okay, I'm going to turn you off and come back because of my dog. Okay, I'm back. So the crazy part is today, our neighbors, we have a relatively quiet neighborhood. And um, there was like this crazy amount of noise. And I went upstairs and um, they have the hugest crane thing I've ever seen. I've never seen a crane like this. Um, and it's the actual base of the crane is like on legs that you could make different heights, if that makes sense, because our street is, is so anyway, I've never seen a machine like this and, um, and it went straight up in the air and then they had a guy tied to it and they hoisted him up in the air and like moved him over and they're doing tree trimming. And so they're all, <laughs> it's crazy. I had to go, I had to go check it out again because I'm just fascinated by it, but um, I don't know exactly why I cut this out. This is like collage. So I'm going to cut out the words and then I want these images also. Not too sure what to do with this, right? So I'm going to put it for now. I'm going to put it in my magazine cutout drawer that is not, um, filed yet. I mean, obviously I have a bunch of files of what things are. So this, oh my gosh, look at that. Uh-huh. So this is the sort of thing I struggle with because I love it and I want to use it. I'm going to put it in this little scrappy pile over here and figure out what to do with it. All of this. So this will go in images. Yeesh, capiche, you guys. Does it take you like, I don't know. Sometimes you can have too much stuff, but I don't want to throw anything away because you can use everything, right? Everything. Everything. I can use it. I'm going to pull this folder. So off to my right, I have, um, I have like a shoe box that fits these. If you guys saw my um, office organization, you can know I was a little miffed because I got a, a desk organizer and I thought it was going to fit these and it doesn't. So, um, I have some file folders in there. I simply just label them, right? So I have stickers, printables, images, and background paper, and then a current month. I have of my folders and um, no, that's not all my stuff. I have a whole box and other drawers of stickers, but some of the stickers 
that I've, if, especially if I use them in my journal, I'll pop them in there like little letters or something that I just want at my arm's reach. I don't want to have to get up and like go to my drawer or go to my other bucket or whatever. Okay. So this was a packaging. I'm just going to see, I just, that kills me because I feel like I could use those. These tags were obviously inside of this. I mean, what do you guys do? You just toss this or do you use it? I feel like that's totally usable. Um, I'm going to toss it because I have to, I have to toss some of this <laughs> little dyed paper. Um, so see, these are stickers. I am going to not put these with stickers though. I'm going to put these with my, my punches and because I have a bunch of punch tabs in that drawer, I'm going to stick them in there because that's where I would think to go for tabs. This is going on background paper. I'm going to put this with background paper also. It doesn't have to make sense to you. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't know why it would make sense to you. Mm -hmm. I have a whole pile of these old calendars. Um, but literally, you guys, my box is so full. And... Um, and I know people are like, well, once, I mean, some people I've watched are like every month they go through, they have like one little thing and then they go through it every month. And if they don't use it, they toss it. And if they don't, I, gosh, I don't know. I don't know if I need to be more like that or not. I don't know where this goes. How stinking cute is that? I um, bought those to put in happy mail and rip that off. Here's, I'm going to put this in background. I'm going to put this in background because that's where I would use it, right? That's what I would go to. Oh, and there's where I was practicing Father's Day. And I didn't use it. Yeah, that one's getting tossed. Okay, backgrounds. Um, words. All right. So, <laughs> background. This is where you get stuck, right? You just have to, and I'm not going to be able to have everything just know where it is all the time. So this is a printable from Loveland's Life, um, her Patreon that I'm a part of. And it, does it go in printables or does it go in words, I guess is my, um, you know, my question. I'm going to put it under printables just because I know that's where my stuff is from her. And so I will just put it there. Um, that goes on all my happy mail. So that will go on my happy mail bucket, not over here for my journal. Oh my gosh, you guys, my dog, he's anxious because of the stuff going on. And so like he's in and out of my room, he's like opening the door and then closing the door. And so this is when we went glass blowing. I'm not, um, uh, and to the glass. Yeah, I'm not going to do this. Okay. So trash. Um, oh, that's a little list. That's funny. I'm going to, I'm going to take that upstairs. So my son's graduating this year or just graduated, I guess, as of this month, this week. I don't know. It's so weird because there's no graduation, obviously. I don't need, I have enough coffee. I don't know. Um, this one's from Lynn. This is one I made. I'm going to put that in my little tab drawer. Why? I don't know. Anyway, okay, so what I was saying is, um, you know, my son's graduating, and so because we don't live where we raised our kids, basically, um, we obviously still keep in touch with so many people back home, and um, it's just so cool. So I was making a list of all the kids, like, he grew up with, even from kindergarten and stuff, even that he wasn't best friends with or whatever, just to see where they're all headed this next year, right? Because it's just so cool just to think, oh, you used to be in Boy Scouts with him or you used to be on that soccer team and like, where are they all going next year? I just think it's fascinating because um, I think I've talked about it on here. Also, I was my daughter's um, Daisy Brownie Girl Scout leader for seven years and um, I just, you know, I'm fascinated by their development, right? Because when you get them all, they're like little pea pods and they're all the same, you know, in kindergarten, they're all the same. And, um, you can just do things together. They're, they're kind of like all developmentally the same. And anyway, as they, as they grow into these young adults, when we left, um, it was sixth grade and, um, 
they were so different. They were just so different. And it was so neat to see them develop into these, you know, there were some that just really loved art and some that really loved sports and some that really excelled in, you know, different areas of life and um, their personalities were all different. Of course, that makes it more difficult to plan meetings and do outings and just all that kind of stuff. But it was just fascinating to me. So obviously the same thing with um, my son and his friends and um, graduation and all of that. It's just so neat to see, like, even someone he was best friends with in kindergarten, you know, they're so different now, but like, but it's just so cool. Anyway, these are cool quotes. This is one of my favorites that I put in my thing last year. This is a common one. I know everyone knows that one. I keep picking this up. Um, I just don't know why I saved it. I'm going to put it, I don't really know where to put this except in those little calendar pages which I don't really have room for right now. So I'm frustrated with that. I need to redo my box apparently. Okay, so what to do with this? I don't really know about this either. So this I'm going to cut off and put with my Project Life bucket. Well, the bucket I have next to me. How about that? Because I have multiple. And this, I don't know what to do with. So this is what like sits on the side of my desk. So I'm like, oh, cause I might need that cat today or I might need this. I have multiple things in my scrapbook closet also all done by theme. I don't even know what theme that would go in. So I don't know. And I don't know where I'd go to get it. If that makes sense. Like if I was like, oh, I want that cat. I don't know where I think to go. So I have to think about that. Um, this is another just quote out of a calendar book, quote book, something like that. Um, I was so happy with my box when I made it, and now um, these are fun stickers. These are like, I don't know, superhero stickers maybe. So I'll put those as stickers. And then I'll do, okay, so see, this is also where I get stuck. So I have an envelope for months. I'm going to put these in months, even though it's a printable from Lynn. I'm going to cut these off. And put those in um, months and these in words. <sighs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just making a decision. That's what I'm doing. Um, because, but see now it's like, it's kind of fat. My whole thing is just packed. So... But if I need a month, I'm going to go to the month folder, not to the printables, unless it's kind of a full sheet. I think that's really pretty. It's been in here a while. Okay, this was an old tray from an old Project Life um, pack I got. They A smaller one, obviously. And I just kept the tray to sort pieces. Um, you can see how well that's going because it's like on the bottom of everything and I don't use it. But this is, I was tossing little... If I made extras, like look at that little envelope and this little, so maybe I'll use this more for little images like Nicole does over at um, Relax Cut Glue. But these are kind of fun ephemeras. My Ruru is up doing laundry. Good morning, Ru. Um, I don't really know, but where do you put this sort of thing? I don't know. See, that's what I don't know. So. I am going to look because I have somewhere. Okay, hold on. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Um, yep, hold on. Okay, for now, do I have you? Yeah, um, for now, oops, I bumped you guys, sorry. Uh, remember these um, gum tins I told you guys I keep? I'm going to do this and then, oh, I need that, I need that. Oh, I need that too. Um, they don't even all go together, but I don't, they wound up in this thing. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep celebrate. Um, I'm going to put them in here for now because it's not making sense to me. I don't find them in this thing. They've been in here forever. So 
And then these will fit in a little drawer that's next to me. And at least I know there's all these little plastic containers of stuff in there. So I don't know. Um, maybe I'll cut up my printables. This is like, look how fun these are. These are all off of scrapbooking. So here's a punch. I'm going to put that in my punch drawer there. Um, I'm just going to, they don't all match, which is okay. Oh, look at that coffee. See, I'm like, oh, I'll just use that today, right? She doesn't like go in here. I'll put her in images. There's no, there's no, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to put, look how cute these are. <laughs> you guys, if you're my age, um, in like the 70s, do you remember we used to, those puffy stickers we used to collect? Did you collect stickers? That's what these are, like, remind me of. Okay. Um, that is not a Project Life card, nor the right size, but it's close enough. I'm going to put it in that bucket because I kind of pull it for that reason. This is like a mm, template maybe to kind of make an envelope thing pocket. Don't know. Here's another pocket that I would use like in my journal page. Don't know where those goes. Oh, those are fun. Printable. Okay. So again, I don't, I, it's like a little, I, I don't know. Okay, so that's going to come next. I'm going to put this in here. Just, I don't know why. Here's a quote and here's another envelope. So this little tray is empty now. So I might use that when I sort some things, but I'm going to leave it empty for now. Toss it over there. I'm going to put this in my um, drawer next to me with my other little ephemera boxes in it. Again, not my only drawer with ephemera in it, just the one that's next to me so I can reach it. Okay, is this exciting, you guys? Okay, so you guys saw me review this. I love it. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but very nice little journal set. Um, it barely fits in that envelope, so I don't... I think if I ever use the journal, I'll have to just use the envelope for something else, but it's cool because it has a magnet. So very nice. I like that, but I will file it in my drawer over there for now. Um, all right, printables. Hey, here's another little fold up trash can I made. You guys, if you haven't made these, they're like super fun. Um, I have a video a couple back. Go Go watch it. It's super fun. And then I got the idea for, from Rainbow Holic. But um, take them with you. Put trash in them. I use them, obviously, for to hold stuff on your desk, too. Um, this one's holding my little trash because it's easier to, like, cut over it or do whatever. So, yep, there's another one I made. I have, a, like, three or four folded up next to me, so I'll do that. This is one of my favorite, like, oh, and I painted that so... I think I'm just gonna put it in the art journal box. I don't know why it's not background, but I'm gonna put that in the art journal box too. This is trash. And then we get into all this fun stuff we made. This is from Joey Defee's channel, all her, um, what are we calling these? Art strips, paper strips, super fun. I'm gonna put that in the art journal. Okay, these are some things I printed out that I was frustrated with, <laughs> this This is funny. This is like this alpaca or llama. I think this one's a llama. Anyway, he's on our um, daily walk. Can you see him? Oh my gosh, he's so cute, that hairdo. Um, this is our cool, what do you call these off Facebook or whatever? I printed it up um, and forgot to use it. Yeah. That's how organized I am. So these I printed on my Canon, what do you call these? Canon what, selfie? No, Canon, I don't know. And then someone said do the pic collage. And so you get kind of the four small pictures on one. So I was like, oh, that's smart. They obviously aren't self um, sticky like the HP Sprocket, but that's okay. So 
I'll just save these again. Don't really know where to file that. These I was frustrated because they didn't print the right way. So kind of wasted, kind of wasted. This is wasted. I think I might use it as um, art journal. This one turned out okay. So I will keep that one. Oh, this was fun. This is from Joey too. So see, these are pockets. Um, so I'm going to, I have a whole thing of pockets here. I'm going to need a bigger box. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, these are cool. I don't know. I'm going to put these in Happy Mail. These look like um, old-fashioned postcards. <laughs> but they are. These are real old-fashioned postcards. My aunt found these in my um, grandfather's old box that she went through and she gave them to me. And they're not replicas. These were actual postcards. So this one was one cent and this one was two cents to mail. Aren't those cool? So I will put those, I don't know. I might, I'm gonna put them up like this in my art journal box and then I'll probably, um, uh, I think that, well, I'll just put that here for now. Okay, these were the cutouts from my Project Life boxes that I bought that shows like the cards. I think I'm going to put these into Happy Mail because someone could use them like as a pocket or you could cut out. I don't know. I think they're kind of cool. I obviously have all the cards. So I'll put that in a Happy Mail box. This is the funnest. Okay. So make sure you can see it. It's the class of 2020. My dear friend, uh, my dear friend who is a professional artist, Julie, made these. And so she sent me one. She, her son and my son were really good friends when we lived in California and she made these for him. And, um, I just think, I just think it's brilliant. And so I'm going to keep that in his book, in our scrapbook, um, Huh. so so creative she's done like lots of professional um, books and stuff like that that was just a little project she made so I have a receipt on my desk no idea why okay um that will go in my son's book another little envelope and then this little thing, I think I'll put under images. Um, these were the stickers I bought a little bit ago. I'm gonna put these in my big sticker box. I don't need them right here by my side. It is a baby set. I had already showed you guys this, but I don't care. Um, I would use this because he's still my baby boy. <laughs> like. And I would make like a title, like not my or or still my, or I don't even know, whatever. Um, I would definitely use this. This is why I bought it. Oh, there's a moon here. I didn't even see that. I love the narwhals, the stars. The only thing I wouldn't use is like, like the pacifier and the safety pens. Maybe you could probably even find a way to use a safety pen. Everything else I love. The crab, this stargazer, ahoy. I would use all of this, right? I would snuggle time. You could use like for your dog or whatever, right? So it's completely still usable to me. Um, this baby bottle, I already cut one out. Where did I? Oh, I used the crab. Um, this bottle, I would probably just, I would just cut, you know, that. Then you have this boat sailing under stars. Yes, please. So anyway, I'm going to put this in my big sticker, um, sticker box, though. I don't need it right next to me. Here's another envelope. Where did I get that? From the bank. That's not even our bank. I don't know where I got this from, but look how cool that envelope is. Um, and it would go in a journal. Now, here's my problem right now. And I'm, I'm almost done because I don't know if I'm going to get two months in here because I'm already kind of annoyed. So if I'm going to do this in my current journal, it would obviously have to go this way, which is fine, which is completely fine. Um, obviously my other journals, they're big enough for it to go this way, but you know, just so you know. So I might use this. I might, I don't know. I'll tuck it in here just to see where we're at. But you can tell this guy is not, I mean, we're not even done with June and I was going to try and get two months in here. 
and and I have been very good about really not putting fat stuff in here. I mean, these are like flat stickers. He's fat, but um, just paper, right? So we'll see, but still lots of fun. Okay, stay focused, Allison. These um, I cut out. I'm already done with these, but I'll put them in. I'm already done with these. I'm already done with these months in my Fobonichi, but that's okay. I'm just going to put them in my little envelope here that says months. And when I need them for scrapbooking or next year or whatever, I'll come get them. Background. Um, oh, this is the, oh yeah. Okay. I need this. So see this right here? I don't know when I'm going to use it, but oh, that's kind of a fun tag too. Maybe I'll keep that. Look, it has an eyelet in it and everything. This is the basket I bought this week. I should have used this in my journal, but I didn't. I found it at Big Lots. Big Lots just open and it's like an hour from us, but we were up that way anyway. Um, and I bought this basket because I started the Sunday paper, Sunday basket, Sunday basket, um, which I can already tell you is going to be a Monday basket in my house because uh, for right now, Sundays aren't going to work. But anyway, that's the basket I bought to do it. Here is a border. Um, which I'm going to donate to the recycle bin because unless I'm going to do that with it, maybe that's what I do. I start to fold it up and I'm like, Oh, I could use it. So yeah, we'll use it because I can't throw it out. You guys, I just can't. All right. So there is, okay. And you guys know this, right? If you have a one-sided paper and you want to make a fold, um, just fold it twice. So normally if you could do that and make like a fold for your paper, That'd be fine, like a little flag, but I'm going to fold it um, once so you have two sides and then I'm going to fold it over on itself and then you have, then you have the green on both sides. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to throw away one. I'm going to keep the other and I'll put it on today's page to remind me that, oh, it might even kind of match. Look at that. Here's today's page. Maybe I'll do something like that. Should we do that? Sure. Why not? Yep. There we go. And it's done. And that will remind me I cleaned out my desk. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I just got this from Elizabeth and I love it. Okay, so first of all, I'm not, yeah. Um, it's wrapping paper, I'm pretty sure. It's like uh, shiny, waxy a little bit. These are like fishing buoys, if you will. Love it, because it's all nautical. <laughs> but then I turned it over, and look at that side. That is stunning. So, um, this, like this, I don't know where to put this. So, I also have my other packs down here by my side. Elizabeth made me a fodder folder a little bit ago. And so I will put that in there because I, I do know it go this. Okay. So this is like where we go to the doctor. I'm going to cut this out. So we got their pamphlet and, um, I've cut out the other pieces. Obviously I'm going to cut this all out because like Today, all three of us have appointments. <laughs> okay, and so that part I'm gonna throw away. Now you could obviously use this, right? Any sort of pamphlet. Elizabeth used a great one or made a great one of her daughter's like advertisement. And then you could like put paper on here and just use this as a, a tip in or something really fun. It's got a nice sturdiness to it, but I just don't need it and I need to get rid of stuff. But Things like this is what I struggle with because I need this like next to me, right? If I'm going to remember it's there. So, all right, here are my numbers. I do have a whole thing of numbers. I was keeping these just in my journal because I was trying to decorate some pages. And now I'm going to leave them out because I want to use whatever numbers are left in the month, which are not these. Okay, I'm just gonna leave these out for right now. This is obviously a printable from Lynn. I will put that 
I'm going to put it under printables because again, I just know that's where my brain goes when I want one of her printouts. If I only had one or two left of the avocados, I would probably put them in my numbers folder, in my numbers envelope. Um, one, my numbers envelope is not this big. Um, I might need to make a bigger one. And two, I, I do want these out because I'm, I'm making them, I got to do it. So, okay, here's a little stack of envelopes, which I don't really know what to do with. Here's some quotes that, oh, and here's some stickers. You guys, is there a better like feeling than like an almost empty sticker sheet? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever going to use these. I need to try. I need to keep using them, Allison. But I love it when something's empty. Like a, a roll of washi, you're like, oh. Um, little quotes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to put it under words, I guess. Because I don't know where else. This one goes back in background. That again was just an old workbook that I had that I just, you know, I paint in. Um, these I'm putting under stickers. I don't have. Um, yeah. Um, I have a bunch of these old envelopes. This is one of my favorite patterns. Actually, one of my favorite patterns. Well, if you get green or red and blue, sometimes it's harder to, to find. I think I'm going to toss this one. I, I have so many of them, you guys. Images, images. So see, this is where I get a little stuck. Like, do you keep... I mean, how cute is that? Little duck and... Okay, this is a sticker, so it goes in this sticker box here. I don't know why. I mean, I do know why. It's because I got them all like in, in order, but okay. Little images. Um, okay. You guys are helping me. Thank you so much. This will go under numbers. So the problem is the numbers, I'll show you this when I'm done here. It's, the thing is full. Oh, who is this from? Is this Elizabeth's? I think this is Elizabeth's. It's so pretty. I've already obviously cut or ripped and used. Um, all right, words and printable. For lack of a better definition, that's where that's going. I don't know where this goes. I'm going to put it in my art journal box because I don't think I'm going to use it. Um, I'm going to put this under images because I think I ordered something. Um, oddly enough, I ordered it from AliExpress, but it came from KS Craft. And um, she has like, you know, all these channels, but I didn't know that. Um when I ordered it off AliExpress. So, pretty cool. But look how cute this guy is. Put him under images and keep making trash. Okay, this is a little Happy Mail I know. So this sort of thing I am trying to keep. Let me show you. I've showed you guys this before, but this is like um, if I travel or even go upstairs to the kitchen for a little bit. Oh, you guys are moving. If I go upstairs to the kitchen, like this is all I'll take with me, right? If I travel um, for ephemera or whatever, I mean, I'll take a thing of pens too or whatever. Um, but I'm trying to put these in here. So I got some happy mail from Elizabeth. I got some from Lynn, some from Holly. Um and I just added them to this pile because I want to try and use this. So if I could keep things in here and like use it, if this was all that was off to my side and I could go through here and use it, that would be amazing. And then like refill this just like, um, <laughs> just like I refilled this that Elizabeth made me forever ago. And, um, yeah, so same idea. Um, I've obviously used the ribbon and it's cut off now, but, and it had an outside, it had a couple other pieces that were covering this, but um, 
this is the actual folder here, but this has pockets. So if I could just have like two things here that, I don't know, you guys, Ugh! I need it all. I need it all next to me, but if it's all next to me and out, then I can't find it. And then we clean our desk and then I really can't find it. Okay, who did I make this this weekend with? Some little channel, who was I watching? Super cute though. One piece of 12 by 12 paper, cute little book. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Probably gonna give it away in Happy Mail. So I'll put it in my Happy Mail box. All right, here we go. Um, printables. Printables, I'm gonna do this really quickly just because that stuff bugs me. But stuff like this really bothers me because I feel like that's going to get lost in there. And I don't know if I should just cut all these up and keep them like in little boxes, if that would be easier. What do you guys think? I don't know. Um, these are just things I printed up off um, Pinterest. And ironically, I'm not joking, I printed them up like, I don't know, last week or something. And now... Now everything's opening up, but I can pretty much tell you uh, we are not traveling anywhere yet. And I swear if, um, oof, I just don't know if the numbers don't get better. I don't know what we're going to do because it's getting a little scary. Things are not getting better and I don't know if we're going to be able to travel in the fall. So I'm going to put these all under printables just because that's what they are. Um, and I'll worry about it later, but see, that literally did not go in there. Okay. Here's my printable folder and I just tuck those in the back, but see, I'd been tucking this other stuff in that's not square and this bugs me. I can't, this, that, this bothers me. I like the full sheets. Um, so maybe I need to cut them apart and put them in little things. Because like, ugh. Okay, in fact, I'm going to cut that apart and put it in my, well, no, I'm going to leave it here. All right. Okay, so there's my printables folder. And we'll put that back in here. See how that, oh, but look, but look, there's more. Um. This is from Loveland's Life also. Don't panic. I wasn't going to cut off Wednesday. Aren't those fun? I love those colors. Lynn, I loved this one. I love them all. I'm not going to lie. But um, So, gosh, Allison, while we have it out, what do you say? Why don't we just go through um, printables. Printables. Maybe I should have done this. Maybe I should have made piles. What do you do with this? I don't know. Um, I don't think I need any of that. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I write down quotes all the time and then I transfer them to like my quote book, if you, or quote, pad, if you will, or a book I have. Um, this is a, um, so I have a folder of, um, animals that will go in there. See, but this sort of thing. Okay. So this, I think I'm going to put in my happy mailbox. Oh, that's from Lynn. I love it. I was going to tape this on my desk. So that's why that one's out there. Um, yeah, this is all going to go in my Happy Mail drawer because I just love it. And I want to remember it was Happy Mail. Printables. Printables. And I may have turned you off by now. I don't really know. I may have fast forwarded through some of this. It can't. Um, not too sure what to do with some of these because I need it. I have to use it and want it. This was a giant piece that I'd made and then I've cut it apart to use it on my pages. 
So I'll put that right there because I think, isn't that fun, you guys? This was obviously like the summer, oh, like the city college or something, but oh my gosh, look at that. Like the computer's cool. This, this screen alone is cool. All of this. Again, not too sure. Like, I think I just want to cut this out. I'm going to put it in images, but here's the problem. If I put it in images, this is why it's out because I like don't remember for sure that it's in there. So if I'm like, oh, I want a picture for summer. I'm like, oh, I don't know it's in there. But I guess maybe I just need to be better about going through my stuff before I make my pages. I don't know. Images. I love that image. Kind of the six feet distance. That's so today. Um, postcard. This is scrap. You guys, we're making progress. Scrap, scrap. Scrap. He's obviously making something. Um, this is a printable. Oh, there's that cat I was trying to draw. And cut him out. It is from oh kawaiidrawings.com. I was trying to learn how to do that. And we'll toss this. I got this out to show someone. She's like one of my favorite Julie Netting ones. Isn't she cute? I'll put her down in my stamp bucket that's by my feet so I can remember. This will go in my happy mailbox. But again, I feel like if I just limit myself almost, like if I were just to use my Happy Mail package for the month, I would like go through this and not, because I can't, I want this, but I was going to, I was trying to think why I covered it. I was going to cover this up and then put like something power flows here. Um, not too sure what was my thought there, but I'll put it in my word bucket. Isn't he crazy? Um, I'm going to put that like more in my art journal stuff because that's not going to go in my Fibonacci. All right. Happy mail. <laughs> Printable. Those were funny. Printables. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, did you, have you, do you guys watch Dave Hollis and Rachel Hollis and all that kind of stuff? Gosh, what drama, right? I can't believe they're getting a divorce and I cannot believe the way they've handled it. To be honest, I'm like, I'm disappointed, but whatever. So I say that because these are my two quotes from them. I think now I don't even know because I swear that was a Jen Hatmaker quote. I don't even know. Cause that's been part of the thing too, is that they basically kind of what? plagiarize other people's is that the right word yeah I mean I guess it is like I don't want to say they do that I'm saying what other people say they're doing anyway it's one of my favorite quotes I don't know who said it if it's Jen Hatmaker or Dave Hollis or if they got it from someone else but I love it if it's not a hell yeah then it's a hell no so um talking about boundaries right talking about like be all in or don't do it right just so anyway I love that but all right, little segue. Sorry, um, had to comment on that. Oh, part of my art snippet thing from Joey. All right, um, let's see this. What do you do with this? I don't know. I'm gonna put it in Happy Mail, even though it didn't. I'm gonna put it in this like loose pile of stuff of ephemera because I know it didn't come from Happy Mail. But this is like background, and <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's literally a piece of paper I glued together. What did I do? Oh, here it is. Here's the pocket. Okay, so I was practicing pockets um, with Joey. Yeah, so I'm going to keep that. I'll put something on the front, right? Because um, I made it upside down. I made it upside down on purpose because I don't, it's from like a history book or whatever. I don't think you need to read it or whatever. And I don't know what it always says. So I did put it upside down, but you'll put, I'll put like an image on the front or you could cover uh, you know, the front if you really wanted to and just do it like that. So I actually like that pocket a lot. I'm going to put it in my journal to use like tomorrow. Okay. Background paper. Some days I just sit and watch you guys and paint, like just paint, not anything specific. 
This is a piece of white paper. <laughs> Do I need this? Don't really know. I will put it with background paper because um, I like to practice my doodles not in my book. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, if you saw my Instagram, I just posted this morning. Oh, I was doodling. I was just watching videos and doodling the other day and I was like, these are horrible. They're horrible. Um, but that's okay because I'm practicing. Background. This is one of my favorite book pages. It's out of this giant like um, history book. I love this one. And this is the last piece. I've used it all. I love this. I don't know. I'm going to put it in my art journal box right here. But um, yeah. Okay. Background. Um, I'm going to put this in art journal. Um, oh my gosh, this was the last project that Joey made. Well, I think maybe last or two projects ago. This was so much fun. This was like an envelope. Oh my gosh, so much fun. I will link her below. If you don't follow her, please. I don't know who doesn't follow her. Just go watch. Um, this is nothing. This this is horrible compared to what she made. Hers are so beautiful. They're just stunning. I don't know what to do with this now, but it was fun to make it along with her. This is an art snippet I made off of um, her idea also. And then these are all envelopes, right? So they all open. And then here's another envelope and another envelope. And they open and then there's a pocket. I put a double pocket in the middle. So here's a pocket and here's a pocket. And then she just kept decorating. I mean, it was so fun. But now what do I do with it? I do not know, but I'm going to I'm going to put it down here. Okay. So, um I I don't know you guys. Okay, scrap. Don't throw it away. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Okay. Paper, paper. Um these are almost full sheets. I mean, they're not cuz they you know. <sighs> Yeah. Don't know. I might do punches out of this. I I do not like this at all. I don't like the colors or anything. Um, but it might make some fun punches. So I think I'll leave that out and punch that. This is a background. This I'll put in my art journal. This is um, some of my favorite Happy Mail paper that I send to people. It's um, It's a drawer liner. So you line your drawers with it and it smells pretty. But I loved, I loved the um, pattern. So, um, this is out of a book. Um, I'm just going to put that in art journal for now. Background. <sighs> really, Allison? I'm going to put that in art journal. <gasps> Ooh, my favorite piece. I wish I'd bought more of this. I ended up covering, if I think I showed you this, um, my Fobonichi. I just laid it over the cover, right? It doesn't even fit the whole way, but oh my gosh, it is so much fun. And I don't know what to do with this piece. I love this. I'm going to, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm going to put it in my art journal box. Um, okay. These go in, I'm going to put these in my bookmaking bag because that's what I would use this for. That's why they were out for that project with Joey. These are the other pieces I bought. Um, I don't love these at all, but I will probably put them in my bookmaking box to make a journal for somebody out of. Okay, here is more Happy Mail with a beautiful, fun envelope. Um, I am going to just put it like this for now. This is another piece of that paper. that I thought I used. So, um, I don't know what to do with this. I'm gonna put it under images because I obviously, um, I took it for those. I'll cut up the words later. Scrap, little tiny scrap. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite envelopes out of a recipe book. I'll save that over here. I don't, I don't know where or how, but that's all right. Another little envelope. I'm going to put that with Happy Mail. Ooh, a good piece of vellum. That's always nice. 
And there's an envelope. All right, you guys, we're making progress. Oh, this goes in my um, boxy fix. That goes here. We'll put that in. We'll put it in a band later. Okay. Now, what's next? Ooh, little pocket. See, now I get stuck. Oh my God. Nick, love you, babe. My Rue's leaving for an appointment. Um, see, Nicole, help me. <laughs> Like, ah, little stuff like this. I don't know. Okay. Oh, God. This is stuck on here. Okay. Um, I'm just putting it in images, even though I think I need to sort them by size now. Productivity requires coffee. That's funny. I'll put it under images. This. So this is also, if you guys haven't seen this, these are little tiny strips. Now, you could do this with anything, right? Any strip off a of scrapbook paper or whatever. This one curls really well. If you guys don't do that for gifts, you could always do that. That's fun to do. But um, I just um, cut a bunch of these and then I made these little, um, you know, that same little V flag. I did it with a bunch of them like for my journal page. So I will do. That's why I saved that month of, I mean, <sighs> okay, I'm going to put that in art journaling because I, I will never find it, you guys, to do next month's book and I don't know what I'm doing next. Um, don't know what to do with this. I'm going to put it under images because here is a little Project Life um, fold out I did. I was going to, I was practicing, right? And so like you could put that in your journal with, if you guys were all, I mean, not all, some people were asking me like, what do you do with all the cards? Or um, I don't have an answer because I obviously have a billion of them. However, um, things like this are easy to do in your journal. So you could just tape them together and make, you know, flip outs and whatnot. And then you could put little pictures here or um, obviously journaling if it's, you know, journable. This I feel like I would have a harder time journaling on. I would put a picture or I would add a different piece that is plain so I could journal on it if that makes sense. But so that's an idea for your Project Life cards. I will put this with my Project Life cards just so it's up there. Um, happy mail, happy mail, happy mail. This was off of a um, Planner Society paperclip. Don't know what to do with this. I'm never going to use this. Um, I, I don't even know. I'm going to put it in my happy mail to give it away because I know someone will use it stamp. I, I do not need stuff like this. Okay. Um, again, I, I just don't know. Okay. I don't know. Ooh, this was a fun envelope, a package someone sent me. Um, I ordered something and this is what it came in. So I'm going to put that in my art journaling box. This like things like this, I'm just going to all put like this and keep in that little folder. And that I'm putting in our journaling. Okay, this is really fun. This is a Stampin' Up. This is, I don't know if it's their last catalog. It sure is. Yep. So June from last year to June this year. So maybe they have a brand new one coming up. Um, I ordered a few things from here because if you know and follow me, you know it's hard for me to find sailboat stuff. And they had some sailboat stuff. So I ordered it. Yes, I did. However... Um, what fun to cut, right? I'm not going to order the stamp set, although now I might because it's super cute. Um, but lots of good ideas. So the images like this, I really thought I would just cut out. Um, they certainly have really cute ideas for all your cards. So if you're new to stamping or if you used to make cards and you want to get back into it, I have a closet full of stamps. Um, sometimes just having a prompt in front of you, like that's so easy to redo. Like, cardstock, cardstock, that could even be pattern. They stamped it, but you don't have to just, you know, put a thing on top. It doesn't even have to be something you stamped. Um, so that's why I have this. So the question is, what do I do with this? Do I cut it apart and put it in like images? Probably not. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it intact right now. 
and put it at my feet. Um, these would be fun. These are like really fun journaling spots. They obviously stamped in them, but that's, those are cute. Um, and I don't know why I folded these down. So let's see why, Allison. Did I order these? No, I don't know why. I don't know. I'll have to go back through it and see. But anyway, so there's a giant catalog on my desk that probably doesn't need to be here. And now it just slid down. <gasps> Another envelope. I love it. I have a pile now. Okay, you guys, we're almost done. Um, this, what was I doing? It's like glued. Oh, I had made an envelope and it was too big and I cut it. Will I use that? Maybe. All right. Um, okay, book pages. This definitely goes back in book pages. I could make a hundred journals right now, you guys. Still not be out of paper. Sticker. That's one of those giant uh, Dollar Tree wall stickers, if you will. Okay, so I think I'll just put this under image for now. I don't feel like cutting it. So a few things off this page, though, just so I don't know. This is what I would do with it, okay? The first thing I would do is I'd cut out the number three and I'd use that on a page as a date, okay? I might cut out the word amazing and put that with my words. I would cut this whole um, frame out and I would use it to frame my pages and it, it doesn't fit and it doesn't have to. So what I would do is I would like, you know, do that. I would cut it. I would add a little bit more or maybe you have your date here or whatever, right? Cut it. Maybe just use pieces of it, but this date is super fun. I mean, this um, border is super fun. Um, and then third, obviously, I would cut out this girl because she's super cool, and um, I really like that. So um, I may, I don't think I would cut out, this is not my jam, the little flowers and whatnot. And then this like I already do. So those are the three things I would do. I would take the three, I would definitely take that word and I would definitely take her and I would definitely take the border. For today it goes in images. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, that goes in a different image just because it's going over in my... <sighs> oh, you guys, another thing. I tried, I went I went with the intention of getting a certain thing and they didn't have it. And I was like, I'm gonna grab what they do have um, with the hopes it would work. Um, I'm not too sure what to do with these. I don't love them. I'm certainly not gonna use them. I don't know. I'm gonna put them with my book pages again because um, they might be kind of a cool page. Look at those guys. Are those not amazing? Those are amazing. Um, I don't really know where those are going to go, but okay. <laughs> okay. So this is okay. I kept this talk about keeping trash. This is like a thing we get here with our, it's called good to go. It's a sticker that goes on our window. So you can go under toll bridges if you will. Okay. Um, but it came in this cool package and I thought, why would I not keep that? Right. So either as an idea or to cover it or to put something else on. I'm going to put it in my art journal, I guess, but I mean, like what a fun envelope, right? And po flip it up and use it as a pocket. So I'm going to put that into my art journal. I'm going to put this, I'm going to put it in my art journal right now. I keep all the envelopes and stuff. Uh -huh. This goes in my art journal. This is, um, this is a wipe, um, like a Clorox wipe or something, right? And I just took it out and I let it dry out. And I was going to use it to kind of document these days, right? So I'll put that. But it's really fun texture. If you guys, you could use dryer sheets, like all that kind of stuff. This I'm all just putting in my random fodder um, happy mail drawer right here because um, that's where it came from. Look at these, you guys. I got these in that take five or um, journal swap, the five pieces journal swap. And these were the extras. Look how fun those are. I think they're all cut like from a Sizzix or something and I don't have that fine. So anyway, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna do it. Okay, this, shoot. Oh, that's a business card I need. Okay, um, I don't know. I don't know. That I'm gonna put in my trash journal. I'll leave it out. This art journal, right? Elizabeth would put this right on her page. <laughs> I just can't. My journal is like not going to hold all this stuff this month. I need a bigger journal. I think I'm going to make another journal for next month because I'm barely, barely making it, you guys. I'm not going to lie. It's very hard not to glue all this in. Um, this was a giant plate off of a obviously 1970s whatever. I, I don't know what that is. It looks disgusting, but I loved this. It looks like a giant sun or something to me, and I'm going to put it on the side of a page. I already used the other half, obviously. So I'll put that in my drawer to be filed with my images. Oh, gosh. Okay, you guys, I'm going to turn you off. I'm going to put you on fast forward or whatever because it, it just keeps, I mean, it just keeps coming. Okay, this is the rest of the pile. Okay, oops, this is brand new. I just got this from Happy Mail, and I want to keep all these in my borders. Okay, but it just, it it just keeps coming. I have little tiny bits like this. So maybe I need to do what Nicole does and do it by size. Although I don't, I don't know. And this, so I'm going to turn the noise off. I'm going to turn the speed up and I'm just going to work on this by myself. And if you stayed around for this long, you're amazing. So Show me what your desk looks like. I would love to know. Here's a whole thing of stickers that are on my desk that that's not where stickers go. So I'll put those over there and practice. So uh, still trying to figure out how to use these pages. Yeah, no joke. All right. Um, okay. Um, that's it, you guys. I'm going to cut you off here. If I, if I continue the video, it'll be on fast forward. If I don't, then I'll, I'll cut it off. But thanks for watching. Um, you know, thanks for the inspiration to clean the desk. I think that sometimes we all have to do it. And so I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. All right, here we go. Okay, friends, I know I just turned off my voice, but I'm back. I am going to um, voice over a little bit of this. I am going to leave this part of the video in, but this is literally what I'm doing the whole time. I'm just sorting through stuff on my desk and I can't imagine how... Um, exciting that is to watch. So I put on some music for you guys and you're going to just see me kind of go through each piece. So um, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. Thanks to my new subscribers if you're here. I'm just so happy that we can all share and um, give ideas to each other and, and get creative juice and brain waves from each other because I think it's super fun. So anyway, um, if you want to watch the rest of the video, I'm just kind of sorting through my stuff like you see here. And if you don't, it's certainly understandable. So I just want to say thank you very much and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me and I hope you find something today that inspires you.